cancelled his testimony before the Senate, what's he hiding? One of the principal things that started off the Russia collusion lunacy was the purported Trump dossier that was made by Fusion GPS as resistance investigates against Donald Trump. That dossier was utilized in part as a justification to surveil Carter Page who worked for a concise time frame with the Trump campaign. The FBI additionally probably offered $50,000 to procure it at a certain point, albeit as far as anyone knows did not complete paying for it. The dossier was later discovered marked down even by the spy who dealt with it, Christopher Steele, as essentially false data. Senator Thro Grassley has been attempting to get the prime supporter of Fusion GPS before the Senate Judiciary Committee to vouch for discovering who particularly enlisted them and about the FBI's exertion in attempting to acquire the dossier. It has been accounted for that a partner of Hillary Clinton was behind the contracting of Fusion GPS to get up to inquire about on Trump. From the Hill, the Senate Judiciary Committee said yesterday that Simpson would testify next week. The chairman of the committee, Senator Chuck Grassley, R. Iowa, sent a letter asking for information about the dossier to Fusion GPS in March, and in June threatened to subpoena Simpson if he did not comply with the request for a voluntary testimony. Grassley rejected claims from Simpson's lawyer in June that responding to the committee's request would violate Simpson's First Amendment rights. Simpson expressed worry about the part of the Obama FBI in attempting to acquire the dossier. When political opposition research becomes the basis for law enforcement or intelligence efforts, it raises substantive questions about the independence of law enforcement and intelligence from politics, Grassley wrote in March. Be that as it may, in spite of the fact that Simpson was lean to testify, he is currently supposedly declining to testify. Grassley has beforehand said he would subpoena him on the off chance that he cannot. Obviously, Simpson and Fusion have another fascinating relationship uncovered for the current week. Maybe Simpson wouldn't like to surrender the DNC slash Clinton slash Russian connections. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. H. T. The Headline News. Houses votes 344 to 81 to pass amazing bill, you'll cheer. Congress has quite recently passed the National Defense Authorization Act for 2018. The bill sends more cash than asked for by President Donald Trump to re-establish the military and it has conservatives cheering. Politico reports. The House passed on Friday a sweeping $696 billion defense policy bill that would exceed the budget request of Donald Trump and break through long-standing caps on national defense spending. The fiscal 2018 National Defense Authorization Act H.R. 2810, 115, was approved 344 to 81, gaining the support of 117 Democrats and all but eight Republicans. The huge defense spending bill helps fulfill Trump's promise to help modernize the military. The bill would exceed the president's $603 billion defense budget request. But it would also blow past the $549 billion cap on defense spending set under the 2011 Budget Control Act for about $72 billion. For the funding scheme to work, lawmakers would need to strike a deal to increase or repeal the budget caps. The Senate Armed Services Committee approved its version S. 1519, 115, of the annual legislation last month. The full Senate has yet to take the bill. The House measure would authorize $621.5 billion for national defense programs, including the Pentagon space budget and nuclear programs under the Energy Department, as well as another $75 billion in war funding. It would also tap $10 billion from the war-related overseas contingency operations account to pay for base budget items, including $6 billion to boost Navy shipbuilding. The new funding levels mirrors a budget blueprint being crafted by the House Budget Committee. The bill additionally builds pay for servicemen and is being praised as the biggest salary increase the military has gotten in eight years, on the House floor. Republicans said the must-pass safeguard policy legislation is a key initial phase in propelling a long-looked-for military development, however, 
they have reprimanded Trump's financial plan for not completing on the development he guaranteed. The subsidizing builds, they contended, are fundamental for the military to uncover from underneath a status emergency and modify. Republicans indicated significant interests in rocket barrier and in addition more dynamic obligation troops in the Army and adding five new ships to the Navy's shipbuilding spending plan. The bill additionally would give troops a 2.4% salary increase, higher than the 2.1% expansion asked. The bill likewise would give troops a 2.4% salary increase, higher than the 2.1% expansion asked. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. H. T. Political. Karma. Democrat witch hunt ruined after Russian lawyer admits what Hillary Clinton gave her, you'll be shocked. In the event that America is burnt out on anything, it's the consistent mud throwing of falsehoods and lies against President Trump and his family. While Republicans have generally expected this from Democrats and the media, it obviously hampers America's capacity to recuperate from the Obama administration. The most recent scandal has been Donald Trump Jr.'s meeting at Trump Tower with a lawyer in October 2016. Yes, she is of Russian drop, however doesn't this officially solid like an extent, nine months after the election? Trump Jr. has reacted sincerely by releasing his email exchange with her in his desire that he may take in some counterintelligence against Hillary Clinton that could help their crusade. Nothing illicit, nothing strange now. Be that as it may, now the Russian lawyer has stood up negating Trump Jr. however, likewise invalidating the whole story, Hillary Clinton gave her literally nothing, and she doesn't have anything on her. NBC News has the scoop, the Russian lawyer who met with Donald Trump Jr. during a presidential campaign denied in an exclusive interview with NBC News that she had any connection to the Kremlin and insisted she met with the son of President Donald Trump in 2016 to discuss the sanctions between Russia and the United States not to hand over information about campaign Hillary Clinton. I never had any damaging or sensitive information about Hillary Clinton. It was never my intention to have that," said Natalia Veselnitskaya. Veselnitskaya, speaking to NBC News before Trump Jr. releasing the emails, flatly denied any connection to the Russian government. Kremlin officials said on Monday they were unfamiliar with the lawyer. The media and their Democrat lapdogs are at the end of the day putting their bloodlust and inadequacy on full show. They don't need anything more than to see another Nixon organization, a president brought around his own inadequacy. Now the media has harmed itself up until now, it sees just a single road for reclamation, bringing down the president. Each real issue from the Washington Post and the New York Times has Trump's destruction in their line of sight. Trump, then, remains over the shred, Utilizing the false claims as repetitive sound keep his plan moving. You won't find out about self-expelling and lower unlawful migration rates, yet it's occurring, all on account of Trump's quick action. Clever, when it gets too tranquil, Trump even mixes things up, since he inclines toward the media pursuing their tales. Main concern, if the media blames Trump for something, bring it with a mammoth heap of salt. They have lost all believability. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. H. T. N. B. C. News Yikes! Nancy Pelosi strikes again, look what she called President Trump. Rep. Brad Sherman presented an article of impeachment against President Donald Trump today, guaranteeing that he was impulsively incompetent. Exactly what does one call the powerlessness to try and know who the president is the point at which you are the House Minority Leader? That used to be one of the tests they had in the motion picture to test somebody's essential rational soundness, who is the present president. In any case, House Minority Leader Nancy Pelosi just can't hit the nail on the head. From Free Beacon, Pelosi sat down with KTVU for a wide-ranging discussion of topics ranging from her own rise in politics to the state of the Democratic Party after Trump's victory in 2016. Pelosi criticized Trump over his stance on the abolition of Obamacare, 
but, as she has done at least four times before, she confused him with George W. Bush. Everything we've seen so far, though, with the president has been about tax cuts for the rich, she said. In fact, affecting California very directly, is the Affordable Care Act. President Bush has come out against that, as you know, and it is not even a health care bill. The Republican bill is not even a health care bill. It's a tax bill disguised as a health care bill. The Free Beacon made a supercut of the considerable number of times she's done it previously. Check the first and take a gander at the response of Maxine Waters behind her. She shows up every now and again to experience the ill effects of some genuine disarray, not simply finished who is president. She shows up as often as possible to experience the ill effects of some genuine disarray, not simply finished who is president. Furthermore, until the point when they do, they will continue enduring and continue losing. What do you think about this? Do not hesitate and write your thoughts in the comment section below. Thank you for reading. H. T. Free